There are a lot of gaming coins out there, and I've done research on over 70 of them that we're going to be doing a tier list today, and whether or not they can go all the way from 0x to over 100x in potential. Enormous gains to be had in crypto gaming. If you enjoy this kind of content, as always, like and subscribe. We have a lot of coins, so let's get right into it. Floki, it's a meme coin. They have a game called Valhalla. I think the game's okay. It is getting better. But for now, in terms of the market cap, that Floki is at right now at over what is $1 billion. I think that in terms of Xs, maybe we'll get some somewhat of like a 5X on Floki, and I'm going to call it there. Aether. Aether is doing cloud computing on gaming and AI. Their FTV is well over $1 billion. It seems like they haven't launched their coin ATH. I think we're going to get it sometime in like May or June. It had over $100 million in sales. And so very, very bullish on this one. It might launch at over a billion dollar FTV. So I don't know if we're going to get uh, anything more than a 25X, but I am very bullish on this project. Major backers. Altura. Altura is an infrastructure play in NFTs. Uh, they also get into gaming. They're the guys that went, out, went ahead and saved Neo Tokyo. Now, I'm very bullish on this project because I feel like there are they are one of the few projects out there that are actually generating revenue. So extremely bullish on what Altura is doing. I do think that this is potentially what is to be a 100x plus project, but for the sake of being conservative, I, I'm going to go ahead and put it at 50x because I think once they actually start doing marketing, which they haven't been doing, very bullish. ApeCoin. Um, I don't know what Board Ape Yacht Club is doing, but I just don't like it. So Arcade, Arcade XYZ is an up and coming project. This is one that has what is called mission pools, where people that want to rent out their assets have a place to do so. The DGENs also have a place to get tokens. So maybe you're someone that's a little bit lazy. Well, Arcade to Earn is going to be the project for you. And they're going on Cedify April 8th. So pretty much by the time you watch this video, already would have happened. Has a ton of hype from a lot of people. Has a pretty high FTV. But I do think it's a project that will, at, at the very least, 25x during the cycle. Aurori. Aurori has a token called Ari. It is is pretty much the end-all, be-all token for the Aurori ecosystem. They have a DAO. They have a ton of money on there. I'm still surprised that Aurori is as low as it currently is. In terms of a market cap right now, I think this one is an easy at least 25x peak bull cycle. And we're going to kind of leave it there with Seekers of Token and everything else coming out. All right, AVAX. Now, AVAX is at a pretty high market cap, $18 billion. So just because of that, I'm going to put it at a 10x. They're one of the few chains that actually focused on gaming during this last bear cycle. They're starting to see a lot of that positive surplus in terms of transactions, which I think is incredible. And they have a lot of great games building on their like off the grid, a shrapnel, et cetera, et cetera. Now we have AXS from Axie Infinity. AXS is the primary token for the Axie Infinity ecosystem. Am I bullish on Axie Infinity? I mean, you kind of know the answer. I'm not the most bullish person in the world. Maybe it'll 10x, but I probably wouldn't bet it. Honestly, like, I didn't put pixels on here, but I'd probably be more bullish on something like pixels. So we've got Beam. Beam is the next one. This is from Merit Circle, turned into Beam. Now they're doing very well. I actually think this is an ecosystem that could be valued at $16 billion. It has already done very well. It could do more, but I think being conservative, we're just going to leave it at a 10x. Uh, they're building on AVAX right now. I'm sure they'll go multi-chain at some point. They've shown some of that from IMX, Polygon's ZK EVM. So we'll see what happens there, but I am very bullish on what Beam is doing. Big time. Now, Big Time is the utility token for the Big Time ecosystem. Big Time is one of the best MMORPGs in the entire crypto space, in my opinion. And I think they figured out the whole economy thing. Somehow this thing has just stood up and just kept flowing over the course of this early bull cycle. They had incredible timing with the start of their preseason. Uh, now, can it go ahead and do a 25X in terms of its utility token? I'm not a big person on utility coins, which is why I maybe will put this at a 10X. But to be honest with you, like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not convinced it'll stay at a 10x. So I'll leave it at that 5x mark. Now, Blood Loop. Blood Loop is going to be launching Blood Loop Shard, which is going to be their token for their game. A lot of people are actually really hyped for what Blood Loop is building, myself included. I've talked to Pasquale plenty, so maybe there's bias there. But Blood Loop, it is a TPS hero shooter game. It is being built on the AVAX subnet, as you can see right here. Bunch of people playing it on stage. It has a lot of hype surrounding it. We'll have to see what the market cap is on launch, but I suspect that this one could hit over 1 billion FTV, which would be I don't know. I'll probably put it like a 50x, you know, depending on where it ends up going. But this is definitely a, uh, a project that is going to be top of AVAX when it ends up coming out. 
Now, Castle of Blockwater, which is ticker symbol Kobe. Now, Kobe is up 20% today at a $3 million market cap, 50 mil FTV. This is one that could very well 100x just because of how low the market cap is. A 300 mil wouldn't be beyond me. Uh, so this will probably be the first 50 to 75x that I put on here. It did launch off of Cedify, the launch pad, and it has a lot of backers, which I'm pretty surprised that the market cap is as low as it is. They do have a deception game. So that's where we're going to be putting that. Cornucopias. Uh, people say copy token. Just say copy token. So we'll say copy. So Cornucopias right now is at $64 million, 290 million FTV. This is a MMORPG project, which is pretty much building out a bunch of different mini games until they build out their full thing. They do have Cornucopius Racing, which I have played. They have Copy Nodes, which are doing really cool things with file sharing. I'm actually really bullish on this project. I think this one can go over 1 billion in terms of just the market cap. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to be putting it at a 25 to 50x, uh, but just because we're being conservative, we'll put it at a 25x. Now, Decentraland. I'm actually not very bullish on Decentraland. Uh, the founder of Decentraland knows what the heck he's doing to pump coins. It's just like, I'm not I'm not the biggest person for metaverses, which is why I'm going to put Sandbox while we're at it at, at the same exact place. So Decimated. Now, Decimated actually looks really good as a game. I am excited to see this product. This is one that has been performing fairly well since the start of this bull cycle, up six 640% or a 6x. I still think that this project has a lot of room to go. So I'm going to be putting it at around 25 to 50x for the sake of this video. Dami Online. Now, Dami Online, I believe they delayed their alpha or something like that or their beta. They have a pretty good market cap. Uh, they're trying to build an MMORPG as well. They have that RuneScape feel for their game as well. And they do have that AVAX narrative flowing in there. Don't have a lot of volume. Do have a lot of consistent pressure. This is one that will probably do somewhere around a 25 X this cycle, uh, maybe more. But I do think that this is one that like you'll see some of the pumps this cycle, but it'll be more of a next cycle kind of play. Echelon Prime. Now this one is ticker symbol Prime. This one has already done really well. We actually called this one out at a $3 mark. So, I mean, it's pretty hard to, to kind of say where it's going to go from here. It's already at $855 million, which is a lot. I, I'm going to put it at a 10x, but keep in mind, we bought this one a 10x ago. So that would have pretty much been a 100x call on Echelon Prime. They have a trading card game called Parallel, as well as an AI game called Colony that's going to be coming out fairly soon, which I am bullish on. Elixir Games. Now, Elixir is going to be uh, pretty much a launch pad slash gaming Steam equivalent, where they have a marketplace, they have all that kind of stuff you're looking forward to. I'm very bullish on launch pads. If Elixir can get the backing that they need to be successful, which they are backed by Square Enix and the Solana Foundation, then this one's going to be a printer. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to be putting it at a 75X to 100X plus, uh, only because I'm very bullish on what launch pads are going to be doing, considering that there are so many tokens that are going to be coming out. Now, Engine. I haven't seen anything from Engine this cycle so far. So just for the sake of what we know for now, I'm going to be living it at this 0 to 5x on this cycle. Now we have Evermoon, which is EVM. I actually really like Evermoon. They are a pretty similar game to Mobile Legends. If you've ever played it, they're building a 5v5, a three lane MOBA on the blockchain. They have quite a few people that have already started playing it. They don't have the biggest budget in the world, but considering the low market cap, this is definitely one that could do like that 75x to 100x. Xverse. Now Xverse is also doing its token pretty soon. Uh, Xverse, it's an AI powered first-person shooter. I have played this game as well. A little buggy at times. It's incubated by c powered by Immutable. Considering the low market cap, probably a 50x in this cycle. And we're going to move on here. Gaiman. Now, Gaiman was one of the big launches for the cycle so far. It's right now at a $102 million market cap with a 1.5 billion FTV. It was actually much higher than that. They've kind of been declining. Have a little bit of FUD news with Bitcoin, Trojan miners, and all that craziness. They also have the Dota team Gaiman Gladiators on their repository. This is one that, I mean, it could very well hit over a billion dollar market cap. So we're going to leave it at that 10x mark. Uh, but they do have some stuff to go ahead and fix before that is possible. A gala. Now, Gala, they aren't focusing too much on games these days, but I do see them bullish as more of a layer one chain kind of product. Uh, this is one that I'm going to leave at the 10x only because they're already so high in market cap. Could potentially be 25x, but um, just for the sake of this video, we're going to be leaving it at a 10x. Now, Gamers GG. Now, Gamers GG, they have a ticker symbol, which is G3. 
They did also launch a collection called the Gamers Lobby, one of the few free mints that is held over an Ethereum floor price, which is very bullish. Uh, they are currently doing their airdrop. They're going to be launching on Gate.io April 9th at 10 a.m. So pretty much by the time you're watching this video, you will have seen what ends up happening here. Hopefully I'm right here, uh, but I am seeing some very good price action. I do think there's a lot of hype for G3. So just considering where the FTV is at right now, I could easily see a 50X on launch for G3. A G foul. Now games for a living, they have, what is it, like Elemental Raiders or something like that. They had a lot of hype. They've been holding their value over the course of this early bull cycle. I'm pretty much just been killing it, honestly. Like, this is one that I could easily see be doing a 25 access cycle. Now we have the next one, which is GameSwift. Now, GameSwift uh, has a pretty low market cap, honestly. It's at $32 million. Uh, this is one that could definitely do that 50x that people are looking forward to, has held its value, and I do think is going to kill it. Gods Unchained. Now, Gods Unchained, this one is one that has a ton of hype. Uh, it has had a community for a very long time, and this community has only been growing in size. I've seen some videos by a couple other creators that have been bashing a Gods Unchained, but I do think Gods Unchained still has a lot of potential for it. Uh, and this is one that I could see at over a billion dollar market cap because they've been around for so long, had that Web2 audience that they've built up over the course of the bear market. So we're going to leave it at 25x for the sake of this video. Now, next one. Guild of Guardians, ticker symbol GOG. This is one of the big mutable X plays. In terms of a market cap, they hit a fresh all-time high. Uh, they had a huge run-up leading onto their, is it open beta or launch? It's one of those. Uh, they're having it over in May, so pretty soon. I do suspect that they're going to have some pretty good price action just because of the affiliation to Immutable Axe. So I'm going to be putting this one at a 25 X. Hytopia. Hytopia is going to be building Hychain. They're that project that was, you know, all over Minecraft and the Minecraft said, screw you. And uh, pretty much they said, okay, we're going to be building Hychain now. So this is a project that could easily go to the billions of dollars. We do have Hytopia nodes that we invested in. And so for the sake of this video, we're going to be leaving it somewhere around a 50x game. Alluvium, ticker symbol ILV. This one's at a $471 million market cap. I am bullish on ILV. I know a lot of people have their uh, you know qualms with, oh, but it's an auto battler game or this and that. I, I hate it. I actually think I'm very bullish on Alluvium and what they're doing. I would go as far as to say that this one could be an over $10 billion coin peak cycle if they do things right. Immutable X. Uh, now, IMX, people know my thoughts on IMX. I do still think that this can 25X from where it is today. And uh, we're just going to kind of leave it there. They're huge ecosystem, grandfather crypto, tons of games being built on there. Do they have the most DAU in the world? No, but all it takes is one game to hit for them to really solidify themselves. DeFi Kingdoms, Jewel Token. Now, Jewel is an interesting one because it had this huge pop earlier in this crypto gaming bull cycle, kind of just mellowed out since then. It is just kind of hovering around where it was before. Uh, I am bullish on this team. If they can actually translate this game into an actual game, uh, then I will be more bullish on it. Just for the sake of this video, though, we're going to be leaving it around around 10 to 25x just because of how low the market cap is and where they were at some point. Carrot coin. Now this is from my pet hooligan, which I'm actually very bullish on. They recently actually talked about all the people that are going to be working alongside them for advisory. Uh, my pet hooligan, it's this just arcadey shooter game with a bunch of lore. They've got AI narrative, all kinds of stuff. They got banks, Elio Trades, Hustle PD, all these guys going for them. So this is definitely, definitely a 100x plus banger. Compete. Now, Compete is it's, it's a battle royale game on mobile. I do actually like the gameplay for this one. I'm not too convinced on what the token's trying to do, but I I absolutely love what this game has already done in terms of what they've built. They've got the go karts, they've got you know battle royale, deception, everything everybody loves on mobile. They also went to base recently, which I think base could be a really cool narrative. So considering where they're at right now, we'll be putting them at somewhere around that 25x to 50x peak bull market. Lit Lab Games. Now, Lit Lab Games got bought out. If you did not know this, they got bought out by Elixir. And so they're at a 6.7 million. There are in incentives to hold this Lit Lab Games token uh, by staking um, for the Elixir launch pad. So there are reasons to hold this. I would say if Elixir is going to do well, then this will probably do well. I wouldn't put it too high up there, though, because, I mean, the focus is obviously going to be Elixir. Now, Treasure. Treasure is pretty bullish because, you know, it's Treasure. They've got a couple games being built on there. I remember the Beacon was one of their big ones on Arbitrum. Zai seems to be more of a focus these days for people on Arbitrum. So, 
I don't know how bullish I am on Treasure, but they might make a really cool comeback, which would be very exciting to see. Materium. Now, Materium, people have seen my last one. I mean, I put 100x on this thing. Look at the market cap. It's the flagship game on Gallo. If literally anything happens, you know, like if there are any success here for Materium, this is just a banger, like straight up a banger. So we'll see what happens there for Materium. Mavia. Now, Mavia had a really good launch. Now it's at $5. It's kind of cooled off since then. Went all the way to what, like 10 bucks or something like that. Has a pretty big market cap. Still think it has a lot of room to run. We have the number one guild in the US, by the way. It's called Roy Boy. Feel free to join us if you'd like to. I do see a lot of positive price action. This team is learning. They're cooking. So we'll leave it at 50x. Meta X Seed. Now, Meta X Seed hasn't actually come out just yet. They haven't launched the actual date exactly for when they're going to be doing their full launch. But um, MX S is going to be the ticker symbol. They're building a ton of different games. People have their opinions on them. I do think that this will be a performer. They're going to be doing it on AVAX as well, which we do like seeing AVAX plays. I'm going to be putting this one out of 50X. I still think that this one's going to perform. It's got the Neo Tokyo backing and more. Mon Protocol. Mon Protocol is, uh, it's like Pixel Mon, all that kind of stuff. They're, they also have a ton of partnerships with like every gaming studio feels like on the planet right now. So this one's going to be a banger for sure. I invested into their allocations. They had a bunch of allocations there, put a bunch of money in there. And so I'm thinking this will be like a 50 to 100x banger for sure. Moon Tropica. Now, if you saw my videos back then, then you probably would have gotten in earlier. This one has already run up a lot. It's at $36. It's kind of insane how much pressure these guys have done. I remember Alex Becker talked something about CAH and they just went fucking crazy. So I'm bullish on this thing just because the community is crazy. Uh, they do have a game. The game's all right. This one's probably going to be like, I'm going to put it out of 25x just for the Moon Tropica boys. Now, Miria. Miria, it's a big, you know, crypto gaming node ecosystem. They have a bunch of games on there. They've got Meta Rush, et cetera, et cetera. $162 million market cap, $465 million FTV. This is one I am very bullish on only because of the fact that not only do they have, you know, advisory with Alex Becker, et cetera, but just like Miria's killing it. Miria's just killing it right now. So I'm going to be putting this one at a 25x to 50x to cycle. Mythos. Now, Mythos hasn't really been doing too much, to be honest with you. I haven't seen a lot of positive price action so far this cycle. Uh, just kind of just being there. We'll see what ends up happening with Mythos. But for now, for what I've seen, I'm going to be putting it there. Nakamoto Games, they have that whole Telegram thing going on for them. We've got a ton of hype surrounding them. Have done extremely well this cycle so far. Kind of just chilling out right now. I'm going to be putting it at that 20. 5x mark, uh, and I'll call it there. Nine Heroes is a 100x for me. It's being built on Solana. This is the best crypto game out there right now. You can play this on Epic Games right now. It's just they have a nine token. It's used for everything. They have a play to airdrop. Has so much hype surrounding it. So I'm going to be putting it there. A PGX Pegasus Stone. I haven't seen too much from it, so I'm going to be leaving it there at the I don't know slash zero to five x. Planet Mojo. They have a missions campaign going on right now. This one's going to be a banger. It's coming up very soon. Probably by the time you see this video, you have a Mojo token. Token. They went out there and showed that they're more than just an auto battle or game. They're actually a gaming studio, which is awesome with what they're building. So easily that 75 X to 100 X playable games, a playable games right now is at a pretty low market cap. It's like 15 mil or something like that. So I'm very bullish on this game. It's a family run team. They have a bunch of games coming out over the course of the next year, a playable games, AVAX narrative. I'm going to be leaving it there. Plays out. Now they have mobile, which we love mobile. However, they haven't really like been doing too much over the course of this, you know, bull cycle so far. They did have some pretty good price action for a while. I don't think they're focused on pumping their coin that much. So just because of that, uh, I'm going to be going ahead and putting it at the 10x mark. So Maddox, same thing. The people are going to be counting out the gaming studios for what they are. I don't really care though. I think they could still do well. We've got Ronin, which has a pretty high market cap already. I'm going to be putting it at 50x only because they have the most DAU right now and they are just slaying it. C to five, they are the biggest launch pad in gaming right now. Do you have a pretty high market cap though? So I'm going to be putting it at 25x. They've just got to keep churning out the good place and they'll keep pumping. Now, Shrapnel, it's the most hyped game on AVAX right now. Their Shrapnel coin has been actually stabilizing quite well over the course of this bull cycle. So I'm going to be putting it at somewhere around around a 50x once they launch, hopefully by the end of this year. Citus. Now, Citus, they have the Launchpad narrative going for them. They also have the Metaverse narrative slash MMORPG narrative going for them as well. I'm very bullish on, on Citus. I think this one's going to be a pumper, so I'm going to be leaving it at the 75x mark. Sinverse. Sinverse has such a low market cap that I can't put it lower than a 10x. Uh, I'm, I'm just put it at 25x. Sinverse, the game's okay. 
but it's just pumping. It's just pumping. SLP, it's a meme coin at this point. Uh, you've got Splinterland Shard, which I'm a little bullish on Splinterland Shard, but not too much. Uh, we have Star Atlas, which I think Star Atlas is a super sleeper this cycle. This one's going to be a 50x for me. Step in, you've got the running app. I like running apps. Hopefully more people end up running outside so more healthy people exist. So put them at a 10X. They're still alive, which I am very bullish about because they could have died a long time ago. Storm Warfare and their Jane token it has such a low market cap that I'm just gonna be putting it at 50X. It's a trading card game. They've got the World War II narrative, which I love. And that's going to be that. Theta Arena. Now, Theta Arena, you know, this is one that, uh, you know, it had its time. It had its time, but it, it just it feels not good. feels not good. Uh, T-Rex 20. This one's going to be launching pretty soon as well. This one's also going to be a pretty big banger. Bitcoin Ordinals have a lot of buy pressure right now. I mean, Magic Eden gets most of their volume from Bitcoin Ordinals. So I'm going to be putting it right there. We've got Ultra, which... Um, They've gone ahead and uh, kind of shown that they want to make a comeback with a bunch of different things that they're building. I'm going to be putting it at a 25X. Vulcan Forged. Vulcan Forged. Their games are looking better. Their gaming ecosystem, it's becoming more mature. I'm going to be leaving it at a 25X. Wag Me Games. Ticker symbol Wag Me Games. This one is at a pretty low market cap. I think it's like 30 mil right now. Uh, they have a really nice game, which is going to be kind of like resurging itself. I'm going to be putting this one at a 50X because I actually like the game. And uh, I think Wag Me Defense is going to cook for Sure. Uh, we got Wax, which I'm going to be putting it there. We got Mega Weapon, which um, the weapon token, you know, it's it's kind of just alive right now. They don't have marketing right now, but this is a really good game. I don't know why it's valued as low as it is. We Mix, it's such a high market cap. It's kind of just done its thing this cycle so far. Uh, we got Wild World, which, I mean, they haven't done any marketing. This was easily like a 10 to 25x for me. Wild World looks incredible, just has such a high market cap right now that it's hard to put it anything more than a 25x to 50x. We've got Zai, which Zai has cooked, has a really high market cap. Arbitrum is focusing on them, so I'm very bullish on that. We have Xborg, which they have player identity protocols. They have esports. They're trying to make esports apps for big teams. They've announced massive teams. So easily a 50X to 75X. And the last one is YGG. It's a guild. We like guilds but they're not going to be the 100 X's. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I went through everything way too fast. Hopefully you got some new coins to look at at least. And until the next time, stay classy, like, and subscribe. And that's all.